Hey everybody, it's Dr. Rick dropping in on you. Hope everybody is having a great day. Uh, as for me, it's business as usual. Pushing through the day, uh, taking a break. Uh, probably going to do some more work later, but right now I'm taking a break, going to unwind El Cart for a little while. But uh, hey, before I get started, you know the drill. Uh, we are asking for support for the work we do in the community. If you are familiar with me, you know uh, what I've been doing, and I've been doing it for years. If not, the link to the organization's website is there, and you can find out uh, tons of information about what's going on, what we've been doing, what we are consistently doing. Uh, but at the end of the day, it requires support, something that we have not been getting. And I'm challenging everyone who watches this to step up and show some love, show some, show some support. This isn't going to take long, uh, but I, I think it needs to be addressed because I see a consistent theme and it's amazing that we're still in the same spot, which goes back to what I always say. We get played because we don't know how things work. We're watching the game. We're in the game, but we're not playing. We don't know the rules. We don't know how things go. We're just in it and we're being pushed around and we're being played because we move with our emotions. We don't. I said this earlier in an earlier video because we lack the uh, desire. I'm not going to say capacity because we have the capacity. We have the creativity, but we lack the desire and the impetus to come together and create protocols and a, and a consistent agenda that we can move along and operate on that takes us towards something. We literally think that we can just wish our way to liberation and empowerment. We, we can wish our way to uh, closing the wealth gap. We can wish our way to be from being the Majority population in prison while being the smallest, one of the smaller populations on the planet. I mean, uh, in, in, in general population, we have this uncanny ability to ignore the obvious. And uh, I'm saying all that because a bunch of y'all are big mad right now because Kanye West. And Candace Owens are walking around with White Lives Matter t-shirts on. I didn't even get into it. I didn't go looking at it. I've given my uh, I've given my um, opinion on both of them and their behavior and some of the things they've said and done. And I've told you a long time ago, Candace Owens is extremely dangerous because she knows how to merge truths with uh, error and false false uh, uh, presentations. Uh, when it comes to certain things like uh, the state of the black family and uh, what's going on with black men, I'm 100% with her in the scope of how the media is pushing for black men not to be black men. I'm with that. But as far as how she moves, as far as pretending that racism doesn't exist, the idea that you need to have a bunch of other things stated, like white lives matter, uh, white lives aren't a threat, but I'm not going to get into it because here's the thing. Here's the thing. Do you not think that when Kanye and Candace got together and said, let's put on these White Lives Matter t-shirts. Now, you also have to get an understanding now that Black Lives Matter as an organization is under the fire, is under the gun. Um, and so the concept, the idea of Black, li Black Lives Mattering, which was something that predated the organization and was actually hijacked by the organization is the true nature of the idea. However, because they saw fit to allow George Soros to come in and fund the hijacking of Ferguson and specifically that slogan prior to Ferguson and definitely in Ferguson along with hands up, don't shoot. 
you get this negative connotation now. So now what they're doing in a situation where a lot of blacks are actually starting to detach themselves from the term, they're triggering. And what will happen is because we act emotionally, it'll drive us right back to this Black Lives Matter thing, which is done in nothing for us. We got jacked for a hundred mil. None of that went into the community. Real true grassroots efforts can't get funded. And we'll get pushed right back into it. But what you have to understand is if Kanye and Candace very both both smart Kanye drifts a lot but definitely smart know what they're doing you don't get to where you, you're at by being an idiot uh, and you don't normally get there by moving in the same direction everybody else moves in either but here's the thing um, the situation is when they put that those shirts on they knew what they were doing. They knew that it would get an uprising from the black community. Now, here's the thing. I don't care what your philosophy is, and I don't mean that as if I don't care. I'm saying it in the sense that no matter what your philosophy is, anytime that you're willing to do something that you know is going to trigger black people or put black people in a state that's not going to produce anything for them and you do it regardless of your philosophy because that, again i'm real big on delivery that's a way to say something that's a way to get your point across and that's a way to do it where you don't sit up and put people in bad situations it is it simply is now what we understand is that's what they did why are we getting upset for them being them? Neither one of them have just jumped on uh, the opposite side of the fence and played, played loose with ideals and loose with philosophies and loose with a bunch of other things. They have consistently done this. Uh, that's how they get on. You got to think, Candace Owen is co constantly preaching uh, the post-racial America uh, philosophy and the reason we even know she exists is because of a lawsuit she made claiming racism against some uh, white white kids uh, when she was a teenager so it's amazing that we see this but the thing is you have to know how to create polarization in order to stay relevant you got to create polarization in a way that you get enough people that don't like you what they both understand is all publicity is good publicity plus guess what happens their pockets are getting laced by a certain group of people guess what happens when they become the victims of the black ire their pockets get laced they're getting paid and they're triggering you to do it here's what we need to be focused on not allowing another organization like Black Lives Matter to come in and rape us from $100 million while we have programs that are actually working that need funding. This is what we need to be doing. Sitting up and coming up with legitimate protocols that literally govern how we behave in certain situations to where we don't have to consult our emotions when something goes wrong. Here's what we should be doing. Creating educational mechanisms for our youth so that we can empower them. We can uh, establish their knowledge and their ability to go out into the world and compete and win. Here's what we should be doing. We should be sitting up and coming up with programs like Black Men Lead to sit up and properly racially socialize young black boys and young black girls so that what they know who they are. So they are not ascribing or subscribing to the, the Eurocentric idea of what is. The Eurocentric idea of what's beautiful, the Eurocentric idea of what's intelligent, the Eurocentric idea of what's classy, the Eurocentric idea of what's professional. All these different things are governing and shaping them and pulling them away from their natural inheritance self. And they are struggling with it and we are allowing it to happen because we won't take action. So, uh, again, you can waste your time being upset with... Uh, Candace Owens and Kanye West or you can sit up and say hey look I'm going to become active in a way 
that I can be a part of the solution. I'm going to get behind a program and support the program, or I am going to develop a program, or I am going to go into the grassroots arena, and I'm going to be a presence in the actual struggle. Whatever, whatever it is that you're going to do, not everybody's meant to be on the front lines. Some people are literally designed to fund the, 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 the revolution. Other people are meant to be on the front line because they simply have the guts and the fortitude to stand out there and speak truth no matter what happens and, 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 and be willing to take action when necessary. Others need to be the educators and the empowers, the thinkers, the people who come up with the solutions, the people who come up with the programs, the people who come up with the strategies. We need all these different things. We, I've been saying this for I don't know how long, and we consistently move in a way that is non-productive and a waste of time. We give so much of our energy and our emotion to things that don't serve us. That's on us. Stop allowing them to trigger us. They do it consistently. It's not just Kanye and Candace. They're constantly throwing things out there that trigger us, that create divisiveness, that create uh, non-productive energy, which is normally anger. And we don't even know whether directly, if we could actually get angry and direct it at the right uh, force and the right entities and the right people, we would actually get somewhere, but we don't even have that because we're just out and we're slinging anger and hate and we don't think. And that creates a problem. So here's my challenge. Let Candace be Candace. Let Kanye be Kanye. They eating. They're in a whole nother world and triggering you. They're in a whole nother world and they're triggering you. They're in a whole nother world. They're eating, they're doing things, and they're triggering you. They got you upset. And they're going home to environments that the vast majority of our people don't get to go home to. And I'm not sitting up guilting nobody about where you live. I'm saying that if you're going to be in this thing, then you got to care about the people who aren't doing well. You, If you're eating, you ought, you ought to want them to eat too. If you figured out something, you ought to want them to do it too. I could have skated a long time ago and me and my family would be a whole lot better off. Not that we are in a dire situation, but definitely. But we would definitely be a whole lot off if we, if I was just selfish and thinking about me. Without a shadow of a doubt. But because I care, because I'm invested, because I'm on the ground, because I know what it takes to do it. And when nobody supports me, I make it happen anyway. That's because me eating. I said this a long time ago, and I'm going to leave it at this. I said this a long time ago. As long as I remain an anomaly among my people, I have not succeeded in my purpose. Until the average black man can experience what I've experienced, accomplish what I've accomplished, done what I've done because there's a path laid and there's an understanding and there's a standard and there is literally mechanisms in place to ensure that they have that same access that I'm not done and I'm not going to be satisfied with just making it. There are too many out there that are doing that. There's too many out there that have made it and they're good because they eat. I'm not built that way. And, and so I'm going to challenge us Stop getting triggered about BS that absolutely puts no food on your table or takes any off. Pays none of your bills or adds to them. Just something to mess with your head to keep you from focusing on the things you should be focusing on. And that's advancing the cause in your home, in your community, in, in any organization you hold dear to you, and in your race. That's where your head needs to be. So on that note, look, I'm going to leave it at that. I'm going to get off of here, get in and, and, and chill with the fellas for a while, and then I'm going to figure out what I'm going to do for the remainder of the day. But, hey, that's what we need to be focusing on, us. Again, if you believe in the work I've done, I mean, this this is anybody that knows, this isn't new for me. I've been doing this since social media hit, and I was doing it before that. I've been there. I've done it. 
um, and I'm asking for support, click the link in the description box or give them via Cash App, however you want to do it. But show some love. We need your support. On that note, I'm out.